most aliens want to live peacefully just like humans do. Okay, and where's the proof from that? Because there have been numerous alien attacks. Human lives have been lost. But there are also aliens making extraordinary contributions. Everyone that I interviewed for my Aliens in National City series was exceptional. Okay, but for a second, let's just talk about human exceptionalism. For example, um, your own editor-in-chief, James Olson, he was supposed to be here tonight, was he not? Uh, yes. Okay, so yes, but... Guardian. If the Children of Liberty are such a problem, why hasn't Guardian renounced them? In fact, rumor is he's meeting with them right now, which seems to indicate that James Olsen understands that these people have something of value to say. There is a very clear difference between having something to say and the hate speech in these leaflets. This manifesto will only incite violence and fear, and as Americans, we are better than that. On Thanksgiving, tomorrow is Thanksgiving. It is a day for family, for community. It is about welcoming different cultures and celebrating a gratitude for life together. That is what liberty is about. Maybe that's a good place to end yeah, this talk. That's a really good point. I'm sorry, I just need to respond to that. Um, I think it's very interesting that we are here having this debate the day before Thanksgiving Day. I mean, American history, it has this nasty habit with this holiday particularly to just wrap it all up in a neat little bow when the truth is, in the years following the indigenous Wampanoag people inviting the pilgrims to a wonderful Thanksgiving meal, the European invaders slaughtered their hosts. I so we do not that. learn from American history. Is it possible that 100 years from now, the aliens will have their own wonderful, thankful holiday about how they slaughtered us? I yeah, think that's right. <laughs>